We know polls don't always paint an accurate picture of what voters are thinking, but in Alberta right now, a bleak picture is emerging for the progressive conservatives. The election is 18 days away, and the polls suggest after 40 years of having the PCs in charge, voters may be ready to switch gears. Reed Feist reports. For over 40 years, Albertans have remained loyal to the progressive conservatives, but now an indication they may want change. Alberta's NDP, led by Rachel Notley, drawing crowds. And new Wild Rose leader Brian Jean cutting apart the PC platform, both gaining traction with voters upset about an early election call by Jim Prentice. I think maybe conservative is not the way to go anymore. Um, but I'm not sure which way which way to go. The change comes opportunity, but there's also that risk involved that it's out of the comfort area. This week, a poll by Main Street Technologies of over 3,000 Albertans found the Wild Rose and NDP are in a statistical tie. The PC is at 18%, but important to note, almost a quarter of voters are undecided. I think there's a grain of truth that people are upset. But political analyst Dwayne Bratt isn't sure if that will ultimately translate to a big change in government. This is a campaign in Edmonton against the NDP and a campaign against the uh, Wild Rose in rural Alberta and maybe a couple seats in, in Calgary and Lethbridge. Next week, the four main party leaders will participate in the only television debate on Global. Not one leader the same from the 2012 election, not to mention a big change in Alberta's economic health. That's where the Conservatives are expected to play their safe card. It's the party with the most realistic plan to steer the province out of its troubles. What the PCs are able to do over and over again is say, we represent safe change. You didn't like Redford? Good. We didn't like Redford either. That's why we pushed her out. Now we have Jim Prentice. Credit card. The opposition says it's not him, taxpayers. but the party that's the problem. Something it's the same message the Wild Rose had four years ago. And despite polls saying Danielle Smith would be Alberta's first woman premier, Albertans gave the PCs an even bigger majority. Reed Feist, Global News, Calgary.